Hello guys and welcome to another profile tree video. So in today's video we're going to be doing a tutorial on website design. So without further ado we're going to go ahead and get started. So just before we get started what exactly is website design? Website design is not just about making a site look aesthetically pleasing. It involves creating a functional user-friendly and effective online presence. Website design is a key aspect to any sort of website and it really has to be considered more for the fact that this will be the design you'll be sticking with, especially if you have this website built, you want to make an impact, you want to make an impression towards your visitors. So what exactly are the different aspects on the website design? Number one is the visual design. First you have the layout. So this is about organizing and structuring the content and elements on a page. A good layout guides visitors naturally through the website. From the most important information to secondary items. Initially, what you would want to have, especially on the landing page or a home page, is information about your company. So we will use our profile tree website as an example, just to give you guys an idea. So here we have the profile tree website. Now, firstly, when you open up this site, this is the first thing you'll see. You'll see we deliver sleek website design and optimized content marketing. It's straight to the point. You understand what we do as an agency. You even have in small here, digital marketing agency driving business online. So just a couple of little pointers there, a couple of little hints as to what we do. And from the three paragraphs that you see here, this is pretty much everything that we do compressed. And it's a great introduction as well for a hero section. Straight away, that is part of the layout. You're constructing the most important information to secondary items. So if we scroll down, you can see we have a video and this would be our secondary item. And this further explains our most important information. So that gives a visitor a clear idea on what other areas we do. If we can reel them in at the very, very start that we do website design and con con like optimize content marketing, it doesn't of course have to be what you see in front of you. It could be for food, it could be for clothing websites or e-commerce websites, non-e-commerce websites. As long as you've reeled the visitor in, then that's where you can provide the secondary information or secondary items like your video and an about us on what the company does so it's always great to have an about us you don't need to completely specify about us you could see it says award-winning content marketing agency and we actually explain further some of the information that we haven't stated at the very start so once we have the visitor's attention, this is when we can start adding more information. So hopefully that gives you an idea on the overall layout. So the next point for visual design is the color scheme. Colors can invoke emotions and convey messages. The color scheme should align with your brand and be appealing to your target audience. So again, take us for example, we're a profile tree, so our logo is color green and we do have a slight dark background and of course along with that to tie that all in we've got color white to blend everything together but our brand colors really is green so we picked a specific green of course to make it more memorable when people see that okay it's a that, that's our company with the lighter green color of course, if they ever hop onto the website. So it is just good to have a color scheme. It also helps visitors remember your brand. So it's best to 
stick with the colors that you're either familiar with or think of a color scheme for your business or website. The most important part is typography. So the choice of fonts affects readability and overall impression of the site. It's important to use web safe fonts that align with the site's character and are easy to read on all devices. So again, another very important aspect to a website you have to make sure that it is easy to read. On our website, we have a slight heavier font weight, so it's easier to read for any sort of user. And we make sure that the sizing of the smaller paragraphs is a little bit bigger as well. So just so people could see it a little better. And lastly is the imagery. So make sure that you include photos, illustrations, icons, and videos. It's also best to ensure that the images is of high quality, relevant, and optimized for web use to not negatively impact loading times. So number two is the functional design. This is where you think about the user navigation. So this includes the design of menus, buttons, and links. Navigation should be intuitive, and that makes it easy for visitors to find what they're looking for with minimal clicks. So that's, of course, with your header. So this is where you decide, okay, if you have a multi-page website and you have things like the FAQ, you have uh, other pages around the site, will it be relevant to add it to the header? Is it best to put it onto the footer? where you'll have sub menu pages. So there's a lot to consider when you are creating the user navigation. As well as this, you wanna make sure that the website's responsive. So that takes us to the responsive design. The website must work well and look good on a variety of devices. That includes the desktop, tablets, and smartphones. So I know we will be looking at a website builder just to demonstrate the overall website design but yes the items or elements within a website builder is responsive but you need to do a double take and just make sure that you double check through all the different elements and the different sections to ensure that it is responsive to the mobile version now, another important part is the accessibility. So you have to make sure that your design ensures that the website is accessible to all users. And by all users, that includes those with the disabilities. So you need to make sure that you use proper contrast, alt text for images, and accessible navigation. And the last thing to think about for functional design is the overall page speed. So make sure that you optimize elements to ensure that pages load quickly as slow loading pages can drive visitors away. Now you gotta keep this in mind as well. This occurs the same for the mobile device. So say for example that you're trying to open up a website. It doesn't matter whether they're connected to the internet or if they're using a 5G network or 4G network, whatever network they will have, if that page hasn't loaded in time, it can steer and drive visitors away. So that is one thing that you really need to consider. Now there are several tools you can use as a web developer or an individual. You can use GT Metrics, and this is a website performance analytics tool. So it helps you monitor the performance, whether your bounce rate's high, whether your bounce rate's low, if some page pages speed load times are very slow. So it's best to always do a test or an audit of your website. So this of course is, is what you do once you have a website up and running live. Now the third one is the content. Content should always be engaging informative and relevant now this includes text images videos and other multimedia elements 
Good content is also key for search engine optimization. So of course, if you have keywords put into the content, then that, that will rank higher on the search engine console. So now that we've got a better understanding on what website design is all about, we'll jump into the tutorial on how you would build the overall structure of a website. So just to demonstrate the website design, we'll be using Wix as our website builder in order to create a designed website. So um, there are multiple options if you want to try this out for yourselves. Uh, there is the Wix editor and Wix studio. So I'm actually just going to set up without AI just to speed up the process here. Now it is always good to use templates as a base just to get an understanding of what sort of website you want to go for. So for us, we're just going to go for a digital marketing agency, just like so. And I'm going to go ahead and click next. And this means that I can copy the design that we have for profile tree onto Wix. So we'll just say, what's your business name? I'll just say profile tree. Go ahead and click next and we have multiple options here for apps i'm just gonna leave that click next and okay so this is where i can start a website straight away it'll be a blank template or i can begin with a template now as i said it is great to look at some of the different templates that are available we can see that okay th these are closely related to what a marketing agency is. So, see, as you can see. So, when you are looking for a template, it really just depends on the design. Uh, and of course, you want to think about how you would structure the website. As I said, you want to put the most imp uh, important information at the very first and then all your secondary items will be at the bottom. So if we do more of a comparison build towards what we have with profile tree, I'll try to just replicate the hero section just so you guys have an understanding on how you would do the design process. Now, initially, if you are creating a website on say a content management system like WordPress, then that's where you would have a UI or UX designer or a design set in place just so you can understand where you would have your uh, CTA which is your control to action buttons and where you would have your layout for your images and your content so you just need to be certain that the website itself as well is very accessible so with a website builder what I like particularly about this is it will skip all those different steps. So the overall design process, you can skip. However, you will still need to adjust and refine the template itself in order for it to be suited to your needs. So we'll open one up here just to get you an idea. I'll go ahead and edit this one. Now, just so you know, you can edit a template so you can choose a theme. So wh whether it's going to be on WordPress, you choose a theme, or if you're on a website builder, you choose a template. It could be the sort of design that you want to go for, or it could be, it could be something completely from scratch. So let's just go for something from scratch. I'll actually just go for this one. And I'll go ahead and edit this. So I'll just do a, a one page layout and I'll just give you a demonstration on how you would create the overall layout. How I would do it is I would design the header and I would design the footer. Once you got the design for top and bottom, then that's where you can focus on doing the content. What do you want to have in your sections? Are you going to have your hero section? Is it going to show a video? Is it going to show information? And then is your next section going to be an about us or is it going to be meet the team of some sort? But I, I would recommend to have an about us uh, just for your actual website or business. You want to gain more of an information on what you as an individual does. So 
I'll wait for this to load up and I'll skip ahead once it's done. So the site is loaded now. So with this, there are different options for different website builders. Sometimes it'll give you an explanation on how to use it. It really is just practice makes perfect or trial and error when you are working with a website builder. Uh, of course, with a content management system, it does work a little bit differently when you are creating that overall website design. However, I'll just give you a guide on how to use Wix itself. So we have add elements, add section, pages and menu, site design, and so on. So we'll just skip all of this for now and we'll zoom in. So initially what we have is a blend from the hero section to the header. So nice and modern, I would say. And what I want to do here is an edit of the actual strip background. So I'm just going to change that strip background's color and I'm going to do it close to the color of profile tree. So I'm just going to add a color here and then 1E2C38, just like so. So just for reference, this is what I'm trying to follow. Just go back here and see, we'll go back to this one. The column background, we want to change that again to that same color. And then this column background as well change that color to this color. So we've got our first stage here. Again, you will be creating your own colors. So don't you don't need to necessarily follow this. I'm just giving you guys an example of what you can do. So I'll just put down profile tree. Just have that in bold. Just like so. And then I will change that color to a color green. So 33 BC 77. Apply that color. Edit that color green. Okay. And then our horizontal menu. So at the minute, this is what it looks like. I will actually just have our logo on here in a minute but we are just changing the menu. So what I want to do is change the design of the, this one, customize that design. I want to go ahead and have my colors here. So when it's on hover, I'm going to keep it on white, but regular color will be color green. And then when it is clicked, it'll be color white. So let's just have a look. So it is currently white, so I, I'll actually, it'll go to, to a gray scale. So I'll just change that again. So instead, we're going to have it so that if it's clicked, it goes gray scale. If it's on regular, it's color white. And then when it's on hover, it goes to that gray scale. So what we have here is services, portfolio, blog, about contact. So I'm going to manage that menu. I'm going to change this. So services. Oh. Services. If I can spell it right. Then we're going to change the features to portfolio. Done. Projects. We'll change that to blog. Done. Change this to byte. Done. Well, we'll actually just keep that one contact because that's what we have here at the minute. Done. Duplicate this one. Have this as a byte. Just like so. Click done. Exit off that. So we have our section there where we've got our home so we'll actually what we'll do is remove the home so we will hide that because we just want to keep services portfolio blog about and contact now. now it isn't the same design but we can also customize that if we need to so for the meantime just going to keep it that 
it does just look a little nicer so it's not necessarily our logo um, choice for the fonts but I like the look of it so we'll just stick with it so now that we've got that section we've got the header what you would primarily do now is focus on the footer so of course create the footer of the site so this is what we have for the footer it's actually very close to what we have uh, the only difference is we don't have the contact here but we do have join our mailing list so we can keep that uh, however for this section I would say for this strip I'm gonna go ahead and delete that and then I want to reduce the size of this so if the height I'm gonna say about 600 that should about do it Let's see if this uh, will rule it up if not I will adjust and fix just have it right there just like so so we have that lower part of the section extend it down a little bit because we want to add a little menu here but that's what we can have for the footer for the meantime so it really is just trying to work out everything uh, so we've got our header we got our footer and now this is where we start creating the different sections so this is where we place our important information will I have a slogan will I have a small description of what the company does so this is your choice this is primarily your choice on what you want to add in here you can have a slide for the different courses that you may offer you can have a video background with a little uh, description on what your company does again a slogan small description control to action so it is primarily your choice on what you want to add onto this. So uh, what I'll do for the meantime is just edit this so it's color white so you guys can see this. And then of course for the description, um, we'll have it as color white as well. So what I could do for this one, so if I wanted to for this uh, section, so I could change the strip background again if I needed to. I could do a video instead And then with this video, I could do, let's just say, um, web development. Enter that. I can do, let's just see, website um, digital marketing. So of course you can have something in terms of the like a video background so let's just do this for the example so nice video background just like so and then what I could do with this one this background here um, I can manage those columns and then I can change the color of that instead so instead of that, I can have that like a transparent background. So it is primarily your choice on what you want to do. So I'll just get this all built up and then I'll show you more of a finished result. So just scrolling up there as you can see this is the sort of overall look that I have went for so it's just scrolling up there just so uh, I could preview it but this is the look that you can go for again it will just be practice makes perfect until you can create a design that you overall like and just to give you guys another example I did create another website quickly there just to showcase 
No, this was just a very quick one. Um, I didn't quite put the offset on that right. However, if you take a look, this is what a car dealership can look like. So it just goes to show what sort of fonts you use, what sort of layout you use will make sense when you do that overall design. So this one aims to be more of a modern website. So I've used mainly a font that ties in well with that, I think. And then on top of that, I've added some videos as well, just to modernize the overall look of this website. You can see this is what it kind of looks like when you're going down and then uh, you've got like a little uh, blog post or news and then just a little bit of a, a bit of some information that you can put in and of course the footer. So what I focused on here is the header and the footer. Uh, I sort of went for a header that is blended in with the hero section itself. So that, that was more of the look that I was going for. And then with the footer, I wanted to add a navigation for everything as well as the social media and the location. And on top of that location, I added even like a little sal satellite or maps just below. So modernizing that look. And then if we take a look at the different pages, uh, there's like a little services page, keeping it minimalistic in the look. Uh, again, video background on the top there, as you can see. So that's uh, more of the look that I was going for. And then uh, use cars here, again, video background. And I've done that for the other pages as well. So like there's the new cars and then that was the used cars and then contact information still tying in with that same layout. And then even with the about as well, again, still tying in with that same layout. I wanted to make sure that it was the it's the same throughout the entire website. So there's a lot of potential that you could do with a website design. It is just the matter of what design you want to go for. Are you going to go for a modernized look? Are you going to go for a minimalistic look? It all really just depends on how you build the overall website. So that pretty much sums everything up. But guys, hopefully that gives you an idea on how to create a website design. It is fairly simple, especially if you're using a website builder and you don't want to worry about the technical aspect of it. Drag and drop features. That's what's good about using a website builder. Again, if you want to go for the content management route where you're using WordPress and designing the site, there's multiple ways of doing so. But hopefully this gives you more of a structured idea on how to lay things out with the typography, as well as the overall layout, the colors to use, the scheme. And hopefully you can implement what you've learned today onto your website. But guys, Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, let us know in the comment section below. We'd like to know what you think. But other than that, I'll see you guys for the next video. Thank you very much for watching.